Thanks for joining us here on 2K Sports for NBA Basketball. Tonight, it'll be the Boston Celtics going up against the Chicago Bulls. Along with Steve Smith and Greg Anthony, this is Kevin Harlan. And our friend on the sideline, Hall of Famer David Aldridge, we'll be hearing from shortly. Hey, Dave. Well, thanks very much, guys. Of course, the NBA has had some legendary trash talkers. But Damian Lillard says it's not really a verbal assault like it used to be. In this era, it's more gestures. From the watch your head to the too small or rock the baby to Trey Young's theatrical bows, players have their ways of sending a message. Kevin? And the message usually received, D.A., <laughs> thank you. Let's check out Chicago's starting lineup. Levine and DeRozan, the lethal wing pair. Williams and Vucevic hold down the post for him. And it's Dosunmu in at the point guard. And for the Celtics. Smart is the point. White is on the wing. Down to the front court along with Tatum. And it's Horford in at center. And Greg, up and down this Celtics roster. So many of their key players were drafted by the Boston Celtics. And Tatum and Brown at the core, but also credit to their front office. Where to find a powerhouse built from homegrown talent. Now here's Levine. DeRozan in the corner. The fader. Rebounded by Smart. For the Celtics, they come into this one following a loss to Cleveland. Now Tatum. Inside. Smart against Levine. Shot clock at six. And it's White missing. Here's Levine. Coming in off a 10-point game, his last outing. Dosunmu, the pass to Levine. Outside DeRozan. Over Horford. Second shot opportunity. And it's Vucevic missing. Early on, three misses to open the game. Their offense right now still trying to find its way. The pass to Tatum. Over Williams. Tatum's shot is off. For Chicago, they've gone 0-3 from the field to start the game. DeRozan surveying the D. From about 19 feet, count it. One of the best mid-range shooters in the NBA, DeMar DeRozan makes 11 from this spot. Left side, Tatum. Over Williams, a nice shot by Tatum. This is why you're trying to get him as many touches as possible. He's got the deck. Dosunmu, the pass to Williams, and the foul on Marcus Smart. That's his first foul. And about two minutes played here in the first quarter. On the wing, Levine, Mike covering. Just a little off to start this game. One for five, looking to find some kind of rhythm. Tatum kicks to Brown. Horford trying to free himself up. And two free throws coming up, unable to get that one to go with all the contact. And Jalen Brown is such a force on the offensive end. Hard to keep that guy out of the paint. Terrific finisher at the rim. And that one falls, and that puts him up by one point. And maybe the only weakness for Brown is his handle on the ball. And it's something that he's worked on every offseason. Still, though, susceptible to turnovers while dribbling. But it's one of the very few weaknesses in his game. So after making the first, he goes one for two. And the vertical that Brown has is pretty impressive. As relentless a finisher as you'll find in our league. And this is some serious showmanship. Loving that tomahawk right there. Greg, he came with force, and that's not just about getting two points. That was sending, I think, a message. The three from Tatum. The rebound by Dosunmu. For Chicago, they've gone two of six from the field. Levine, a screen on smart. Here's Dosunmu. 
And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. You can feel the excitement for the new season. And Greg, when you were playing, is there an opening day that really stands out in your mind? Back in 95, I think it was, we started the season with back-to-back with -back wins. And the team was feeling good. Then we uh, promptly lost 21 straight. And the first one at the line is good. And defensively, Chicago's so solid. Steve, they don't gamble a lot. They just get the job done. Kevin, they do. Well, how they get it done, they rely on their intelligence. Good communication at that end. Could they be more disruptive? Maybe. But they play to their identity. He's off on the second. And one thing that stands out about this Celtics unit is their defensive abilities. They've got a lot of skill on that end of the floor. Now here is Horford. Outside Tatum. From outside, off the mark. You know what, though? They keep calling his number despite the difficult quarter he's had. DeRozan passes to Vucevic. Vucevic is screen on Brown. And the basket by DeRozan. You're right, defense, it's been terrific for him. This Boston team, GA, certainly has a talent for holding back their opponent's shots and really defending well. And, Kevin, they put a lot of energy into pressuring shooters, making sure guys can't find easy looks. They don't want to give away anything for free. Passes to Levine. DeRozan against Brown. A 17 footer. It's Chicago with another bucket. In this period, they're feeding him and he's feeling it. And here's Tatum. He'll bring it up for the Boston Celtics. Six point game. Brown feeling it out a bit. Williams with the steal. Pass to Dosumu. The dish to DeRozan. And it hung on the rim, but wouldn't fall for him. Boston's gone 0-3 from three-point land. Nothing yet going outside. White dishes to Brown. He sticks that one in from 20 feet away. Beautiful find by Derek White. When you start your career with Coach Popovich, you either make the next pass or you don't get minutes. Now, here's DeRozan. He has six. Vucevic, a screen on Brown. Pass to Vucevic. This one for three. And it's White with the rebound. There was a mix-up defensively. Left him all alone. He just couldn't hit it. Up top, Brown. Last game with 30 points. And it's Chicago with the rebound. Even though he missed it, this is the exact play your offense is designed to produce. Williams passes to Levine. DeRozan in the corner. That's good, and it's Levine with the assist. DeRozan's got nine. Adding to this lead, he's been dependable and consistent at the offensive end. Here's White. Connects from three-point range. Demonstrating how efficient he is. Derek has a great feel for when to fire away. DeRozan with it. He's got nine. From 17 feet out, and that one is good. He's got 11. As hot as he's been this quarter, the game plan is simple, folks. Get him the ball and get out of the way. So the Celtics call timeout. They're first. The Celtics making a switch here. Williams is checked in. And then for Chicago, Green comes in for Patrick Williams. And it's Alex Caruso in for Levine.
Horford kicks to Williams. The Celtics working the ball around now. Horford dishes to Brown. Williams against Green. Shot clock at five. It's stolen by DeRozan. Shoots over Brown. And it's off the back rim. No good. Celtics trail by six. Smart passes to White. Williams has a screen for White. Four on the shot clock. They kick out to Brown. Second chance shot. And it's good on the way in. Brown's got five. And you gotta respect how accomplished Brown is down low, destroying whoever is in his way. Dosunu, the pass to DeRozan. To the inside. Here's Vucevic. The shot goes in, first of the night. He's one for three to start the game. Nice job getting inside for the layup. Got the deep thinking jump shot. Gave a little pump fake, and then off to the races. Knocks it loose. Smart on the wing. The feed now to Brown. Shoots over to Rosa. And another basket for Boston. And love how assured Brown looks taking these shots. His mid-range game is on point. He's squaring up like that. Now, here's DeRozan. Nine points last game. Six for ten with that shot going in. That's a good game for a lot of guys. And he's starting to show that killer instinct this quarter, looking to extend the lead. And so it's smart. He'll bring up the ball for Boston. They trail by six. And he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. It's going to go on Dosumu. As tough as they get, Smart's a bulldog out there, does a good job of drawing contact, oftentimes by initiating it. He's off on the first. How about the job Billy Donovan has done under 500 in his first season, but took the Bulls to the playoffs in his second year at the helm. Celtics making a switch here. Ogden's checked in, and the Bulls making a change also. Goran Dragic is checked in for Dosumu. And the second free throw, good. Lots of pieces have been added to this Bulls roster. For Donovan, you were just talking about him, to work with coach and lead. He has done a good job. They have a great mix, Kevin, of veteran leadership and young talent. Donovan has been able to mix and match to keep guys fresh. It worked well for him in the playoffs last year. Just couldn't find an answer for Giannis and the Bucks. And here is Brogdon after the three-pointer from Nikola Vucevic. And here is Brogdon. It's stolen. Fast break. Here comes Chicago. Here's Caruso. And he drops it in from the low post. And it's a 10-point Bulls lead. And a breakdown here, guys. The hustle stats for the Bulls. The way they've been going after steals in this game, it has been super impressive. They are wreaking havoc right now. On top of that, they're creating turnovers and taking advantage by converting on the offensive end. Basket good. A quality shooter from that area. When you let Brogdon feel comfortable from there, he'll torch you. Vucevic a screen on Brown. Here's DeRozan, and a lot of contact on that one, so he'll shoot two here. You know, Greg, some guys are late bloomers, but DeRozan, he was just the opposite. Yeah, reports are he had handles at age three. First dunk came in the sixth grade, five-star high school prospect, and in a strange way, he's still an underrated superstar. good from DeMar DeRozan. And Smitty, in that 21-22 season, DeMar DeRozan proved to be one of the top closers in our game. 
You're totally right, GA. He led the NBA in fourth quarter points and finished second in clutch scoring. He embraced the challenge and thrived playing the role of the hero. He makes one of two that time. Well, after their offense stalled in the finals, the Celtics getting some veteran help. Gallinari and Brogdon both bring shooting, and Brogdon's another playmaker on the floor. Boy, if you're the coach, you hate to see that kind of miscommunication between your guys. Tatum, he's checked in for the Celtics. Rogic kicks to DeRozan. Green, the screen. It's DeRozan with the drive. Boy, that was quick. Already out to a double-digit lead. This has been a beatdown right here. Possibly over before it began. Celtics trail by 11. Right side, Tatum. Good on the bucket. Tatum's got his second best. And coach was talking about the muscle Tatum's packed onto his frame. He said now he has the power of a power forward. We saw it on display right there. DeRozan. Oh! Uh -oh. Incredible leaper, explosive finisher DeRozan with one of his acrobatic dunks. Awesome rewind courtesy of the AT&T 5G Slam Cam. Celtics have gone 7 of 13, just over 50% from the floor. Some good looks. Rogic against Brogdon. Six on the shot clock. Williams has a screen for Brogdon. Tatum finds William. And there's the call on Malcolm Brogdon. That is his first foul of the game. Here's Dragic against Charlotte. He was really on his game. Here's DeRozan. That's him coming off an assist from Dragic. And that's 20 points for DeMar DeRozan. <laughs> Defensively, they've got to pick up the intensity. Hard to win surrendering this high a field goal percentage. Williams passes to Hauser. And White picks to Brogdon. Releases. Six to shoot. And it's White missing. It's a shot you would think he would make, but he just doesn't make it all the time. Rogic dishes to Green. Now DeRozan. From deep three-point range, and that shot was up in time, but doesn't go in. And so it's Chicago. 13 points up at the end of the period. They've got their field goal percentage to thank for that. They've been hot from all over the floor tonight. Right back after this break. to have you with us folks second quarter of basketball this game has not exactly been neck and neck but plenty of time left in this one and the Bulls guys have been rolling right along haven't they well credit their anticipation skills on the defensive end a number of turnovers and you can't cause those mistakes unless you're willing to gamble so far they've rolled the dice and it's paid off for Boston they come into this one following a loss to the Cavaliers in Cleveland Williams is out there with Jason Tatum then there's Malcolm Brogdon then it's Marcus Smart and it's Hauser in at the small forward position that's who's in the game for the Celtics here's Hauser he's gotten some minutes but nothing on the board yet and Tatum puts up a deep three. That one doesn't go. Now Chicago takes it the other way. Williams with the ball. Now guarded by Tatum. Here's Caruso. Rebounded by Hauser. Celtics trail by 13. Outside Tatum. Trains it from beyond the arc. Tatum's got the first basket of the second quarter for Boston. 
Crawford. And Tatum's accuracy makes him an easy option here. You can trust him to knock it down. And we play through the first uh, minute here in the second. Out to the wing. Jones sets the pick for Caruso. Jones, no luck. And so it's Williams who brings it up for the Boston Celtics. They haven't allowed any points in the second quarter. Celtics passing it around. Tatum no good. You're not going to see that very often. Plenty of space, but he just, let's face it, he whiffs on that. Jones with the screen on Williams. Here's Dragic. A wide open look here for Caruso. Hands it from downtown. Caruso's got the lead up to 13 now for the Bulls. Here's Smart. And here's Tatum for three. Good, and Smart gets the assist. Tatum's got six here in this quarter. Matching baskets from the perimeter and earmark of today's game. Hey, players love competition, and the fans love it as well. Now here's Dragic, stolen by Brogdon. And there's the pass to Tatum. Here's Smart. Off the mark, had a chance to trim it to single digits. Chicago leading by 10. Jones sets the pick for Dragic. Levine for three. They get it back. Celtics have gone two of five from the field here in the second quarter, shooting 40%. Feeds it to Williams. Laid in with a nice touch off the glass. And even if you risk a foul, the D has to play him tougher when he gets it that deep. And if you don't, they keep finding the matchup every time up the floor. And so here is Chicago following the bucket by the Celtics. Passes it to Levine. Down to five on the shot clock. Makes no mistake on the open jump shot. Levine's got his second bucket of the game to go. If history is any indicator, more often than not, Levine's going to take this shot. It's what he's built to do. Time called here. The Celtics decide to talk it over. Now to take a look at some numbers for DeMar DeRozan. Pass to Brogdon, down low, and oh boy, a lot of contact there, but he gets the call and will shoot two. That's on Goran Dragic. Greg, we know from time to time things get pretty chippy out there. What kind of things would get under your skin when you played in the NBA? Oh, you know, guys tended to talk a little trash, and that could rattle you. That, that could bother you at times, but you really just try to maintain your focus and keeping your eye on the prize. And that one falls for White. And what makes Chicago tricky to defend, Kevin, they just have such a balanced attack. They can score in the paint from mid-range or hurt you from deep. He doesn't get the second one. You know, as the Bulls have become a more veteran team, Greg, it feels like they've settled into what they do well. And you need a strong identity to be successful in this league. Chicago is building towards that, but it does take time. Now here's Dragic. Jalen Brown with the rebound. This opportunity, it's a makeable shot for him. He just can't get it to go. 
Horford against Jones. Brown outside. It's all in by the Bulls. 13 points was their biggest lead in the game. Next game for them, they'll take on the Raptors at Toronto. That will conclude their brief two-game road trip. Rockets the pass to Williams. Rocket six. Dishes it to Levine. It's over Brogdon. Here's Jones. Good work defensively by Horford. Celtics trail by nine. To the paint. And the dunk by Horford. There no chance to shut that one down. Horford's reach made that play unstoppable. And now the first time out called here for the Bulls. Vucevic checked in for Derrick Jones. And a chance here to check out some stats for Derrick White. Good season for him last year. Put up about 13 points per, five assists and three rebounds. Yeah, he's been making the right decisions and, and letting the game come to him. Solid play all around. He's not trying to take over necessarily. He's just taking what the defense allows and contributing to the calls. Levine with it. Pass to Williams. And stolen by Horford. White with it. Williams picks him up. And it's White missing. Chicago leading by seven. In the corner, it's Levine. And that's good. And it's Dragic with the assist. Dragic has got three assists now in this one. Brockton outside. The pass to Williams. And right away, the Natchez with a three-pointer of their own. Williams has got five. Matching baskets from the perimeter, an earmark of today's game. Hey, players love competition, and the fans love it as well. Now here's Dragic. He's still scoreless so far in this one. Rebound, Boston. Horford's got six rebounds here tonight. I now I send it over to the sidelines and get a report from David Aldridge. Thanks very much. Now, Malcolm Brogdon said in pre-draft interviews, teams were asking, you went to college for four years and got your master's in your fifth year. Are you sure you want to be an NBA player? It seems as if you're black, you can't be both educated and a sportsman. But it's not disheartening. It's a chance for me to break the mold. Kevin? Thanks, D.A. Now here's Levine after Malcolm Brogdon's move. Down against Caruso. The jump hook, and it's Brown missing. And it's Dragic with the ball for the Chicago Bulls. 13 points was their biggest lead in the game. Back to Levine. Passes it to Caruso. From downtown, rebound by Williams. Celtics trail by seven. There's Brown with the three. Gets the three-pointer to fall. He's got ten. Great to see Brown drop that perimeter jumper, showing off his terrific stroke from beyond the arc. Here's Dragic. Kicks it to Levine. 
Bulls moving the ball around. Vucevic is screen on white. It's Trogic with the drive over Horford. Trogic gets the bucket. Trogic has got his first points of the night. That's a slick dribble move. That's how Goran Trogic creates space. Time called here. The Celtics decide to talk it over. Tatum, he's checked in for the Celtics. Marcus Smart comes in for Malcolm Brogdon. And then for Chicago. Green, he's checked in for Patrick Williams. DeRozan comes in for Zach Levine. And it's Dosumu in for Goran Dragic. Side Tatum over Green and Vucevic pulls it down. Vucevic has got six rebounds in the game. What you love about Vucevic, the consistency, solid shooting percentages, and he's averaged double digit rebounds for the last five years. So it's trail by six. Smart kicks to Horford. Horford sets a screen for Brown. Shoots over to Rosa. Vucevic with the block. Vucevic is so long, he's tough to get a shot over. Dosunmu, the pass to DeRozan. Just five to shoot. The Bulls need to get a shot off here. Here's Vucevic. And Boston with the rebound. Brown's got his fourth rebound in this one. You know, Greg, adding to that for Vucevic, the last two seasons, he's been excellent in the playoffs. Great point, Kevin. His numbers were up over what he did in the regular season. He hits clutch shots, gives them a physical presence, and he is just a rock in the middle. The Bulls leading by four. And here is Dosumu. Green with a screen on Smart. Dosumu, the pass to Caruso. And again, no good by Chicago. No other way to put it. Just a poor shooting performance for him. But luckily, his teammates have picked up the slack. And that's out of bounds. Boston will retain possession. Chicago making some changes. Williams, he's checked in for Green. And Zach Levine subbed in for Alex Caruso. The three from Tatum. Vucevic with the rebound. Vucevic has got rebound number seven for him tonight. For three, Levine. The rebound by the Celtics. Following this game, they hit the road. They'll take on the Knicks in New York. And that'll be the first of a two-game road trip for it. Tatum dishes to Brown. Pass to Smart. It's White on the wing. Six on the shot clock. A shot off that time. And the Bulls going the other way now. Has to do soon. A 
the pass to Levine. Fires from deep, and it's sent back by Horford. And still capable of being your defensive anchor. Horford is excellent at positioning himself to block shots. Go into the rack with energy, and the D afraid to cut him off. Yeah, got to chalk that one up to some shaky defending. In a close game like this, everything has to be challenged, and everything has to be earned. Here's those who know following the bucket by the Celtics. Vucevic setting the pit for DeRozan. Goes up on the high post, and that one goes out of bounds. Last touch by Levine. A moment now to see the numbers for Smart. He had a strong showing last season, and he also finished in the top 20 of the assist rankings, making plays for others and making his teammates better. And like a thief in the night, he will pick your pocket clean. Top 10 in steals, as you said last year, always a threat to cause a turnover. A primary responsibility of Brogdon's. When someone is open on his squad, he gets it to him. Bulls moving the ball around. Williams, a screen on Brock. DeRozan, it's on target from the high post. DeRozan's got 22 points. Now that's a high percentage look when the D doesn't fight over the screen. Reason why, it takes extra energy to do it. You have to trust your defensive rotations, but it's worth it. Now, here's Brown. He's got 14. Taken away by Williams. In transition, here come the Bulls. Williams leading the charge. And that's out of bounds. Chicago will retain possession. And we have to take another glance at that powerful rejection. And in a close game, blocks like that are so clutch. And that could be a real difference maker here tonight. There's 49 seconds left to play here in the second quarter. And it's good. Two points. Levine's got nine points. The added strength coming into play. Zach Levine just shrugging off the contact inside. And here's Brown. He'll bring it up for the Boston Celtics. Four-point game. He kicks to Horford. A three ball. And DeMar DeRozan pulls it down. And the rebound battle split evenly thus far. Pass to Dosun. 24 seconds left now here in the second. Outside, Levine. A three-pointer off the mark. And we haven't seen them be quite as aggressive driving the basketball, settling far too much for jumpers. Now here's Tatum. Horford with a screen on Vucevic. A leap from deep. Tatum joined the league as a fantastic three-point shooter. Didn't have to add that to his game. And a close game so far for the first two quarters as we reach halftime. Bulls lead by one. And now let's catch up with David Aldridge, who's standing by from the sideline. All right, Dave. Thanks very much, Billy. I heard you tell the guys. Okay, David, much appreciated. And now time for halftime. So we'll be back in just a bit to get the third quarter underway. Welcome everyone to halftime. The Chicago Bulls find themselves in a good matchup here at the break. Being a trunk slammer ain't easy. Hostile environment, and these guys are unfazed. Yeah, it's tough to win on the road in the NBA. Loving the confidence. And let's get back to our featured game. A fantastic battle between these two guys. Well, the guys on the wings are putting on the show, each one doing so much for his team, incredible versatility and talent. And this is what it's all about. Watch the two guys of this caliber go at it. And that'll do it for halftime. We send you back to Kevin Harlan, who has the second half call. And in that first half, we saw a pretty tight battle. We'll soon find out what sort of adjustments were discussed during the half. A fantastic game from DeMar DeRozan so far. Yeah, and just look at the numbers from the first half. He has been very efficient. And it's not like everything's been at the rim. There's been a number of jump shots along the way. 
And after a fairly even first couple of quarters, the second half could turn out to be a great one as both teams try to gain an edge. And on the floor for Billy Donovan as we get into the second half. The wing set for him, Levine and DeRozan. Williams and Vucevic hold down the post for him. And it's Dosunmu in at the point. Not quite enough defense. That time around, just lucky he was off. Most losing teams, Greg, are looking to rebuild, look to the future, but not in Chicago. Yeah, their idea to turn it around was to get all-stars. <laughs> Trading for Vooch in 21 during a losing season, then signing DeMar as a free agent. That's a refreshing approach. Steve, it's been tremendous to see Zach Levine reach his all-star potential in recent years. Kevin, you can tell he's loving it too, right? But yeah, this was a long time coming. He's at the top of his game, earning his spot among the best players in this league, Kevin. He throw good, Levine. Kevin, what's so impressive to me about Levine? It's the all-around play. He affects the game across the board. That one misses, so he goes one for two. And Levine's efficient as well. And good shooting numbers, no doubt. Last year, he cut back on the turnovers. And boy, he's still young. There's still tons of upside to be had. Not to White. Horford sets a screen for White. And it's Chicago with the rebound. Vucevic has got his eighth rebound here tonight. Here's Williams. And he banks in the layup. Williams has got his first bucket of the night. Terrific play call to give him a clean look at the rim. That's how you want to start the second half. Listen, put the ball in the hands of your best scorers and let them go to work. Keep it simple. So it's Boston now after the Bulls pick up two. Fouled on the shot and picks up two points. So one free throw coming up. And how about Tatum there using his muscle, easily absorbing the contact and still able to knock down the shot. And he'll be shooting his first free throw of the game here. And you know, guys, he had a big game at the free throw line in their last outing. That one falls for Tatum. And Jason Tatum seems GA like he's on the verge of being a superstar in the league. And Kevin, some would say he is already there. It feels like he's going to win an MVP in the next five years. He's already shown he can lead a team to the final. To Rosen against Brown. Tatum passes to Smart. Tatum on the wing. 16 points for him. White, wide open. He fought. Good. And it's Tatum picking up the assist. The defense is far too slow to close out on those three-point attempts. Goes Hunu, the pass to Levine. Here's DeRozan. 18 feet away, and he knocks it down. DeRozan's got it all tied up now for the Bulls. He's on a roll. Can't let DeRozan get into rhythm. He will torch you all night. Brown with a screen on Williams. Outside, Horford. Misses the three. Bulls have gone two of three from the field to start the second half. Williams kicks to Levine. There's the pick. Over to the wing. Here's Dosunmu. No good on the three. And here's Tatum. He'll bring it up for Boston. And he gets the basket. Officials blowing the whistle, so a chance at the line for one more. And it's going to take more than that to stop Tatum, a wing who can score in so many different ways. For Boston, they have shot four of seven as a team from the line tonight. Several misses early.
On the free throw, no good. In the rise of Tatum, boy, it has been fun to watch. And many believe he's nowhere close to being done improving yet. Now here's DeRozan. 24 points for him. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. And Smitty, we've seen Nikola Vucevic add a three-point shot to his arsenal. This is a shot he did have early on in his career. But GA, as the game has continued to evolve, so has Vucevic. Recognizing bigs like him have to be able to stretch the floor. The first one falls. I mean, a terrific free throw shooter, DeRozan, really pushes the action, looking to score and or get fouled. And so he hits both. Boston's gone one of three from downtown since halftime. Outside, smart. Tatum wide open, he fires one. Good, and smart gets the assist. Smart's got assist number five here tonight. Will be with very little pressure on their perimeter shooters. Three of the last five baskets they've allowed have been from beyond. Now, here's DeRozan. He's got 26. Instinctual pass by Zach Levine. Doesn't hesitate to feed the wide open man. Outside, smart. Pass to Tatum. Crown with a screen on Williams. Tatum way outside. DeRozan with the rebound. DeRozan's got four rebounds in this game. Williams passes to DeRozan. And Vucevic gets to Levine. Oh my, he'll go to the line with a chance for a four-point play. That one on White. And a chance to catch up on some numbers here. The scoring breakdown for the Bulls. I think the mid-range game has been a go-to option for them in this game. And when it's working like it is for them, I see no reason to make a change. And the other thing that stands out is just how well they have moved the ball. Everyone's touching it and having a chance to create. And they didn't shoot it very well from the line in the first half, but they've gotten much better since halftime, and it's helped them to secure the lead. Now here's White. Nine points in the game so far. Five on the clock for three. Rebound by the Bulls. Vucevic has got double-digit rebounds now in the game. Levine finds DeRozan. That's good, and it's Levine with the assist. Levine's got three assists in the game. Celtics trail by five. Outside Tatum. Shot to stop the run. Rebounded by Vucevic. For Chicago, they've gone five of seven from the field in the third quarter. Let's see if they can keep it up. Bean passes to DeRozan. Six to shoot shot on the way and that one good and it's a seven point Bulls lead and he has just been in a flow offensively terrific game he has been the x-factor now a timeout called by Boston And let's go to the 2K leaderboard to see the teams that blocked the most shots in the NBA last year. The Celtics second. They really take pride in defending the rim and sending shots back with some authority.
Here's Smart. Takes it inside. The shot's good on the assist by Horford. And with that basket, he's able to end a 10-0 run by Chicago. Chicago leading by five. Al Levine, 14 points for him. Here's DeRozan. Over Smart. And again, it's DeMar DeRozan. DeRozan's got 34. And they've worked the ball around so well tonight for those quality looks from mid-range. Down, down low, guarded by Levine. And the shot is long. For Chicago, they've gone 7 of 9 from the field to start this second half. Some tremendous shooting from them. Pass to DeRozan. Vucevic a screen on Brown. DeRozan with it. And it's Horford picking him up. And a chance now to look at the schedule for Chicago. On Sunday, they're off to Toronto to face the Raptors. He's gone 3 for 4 from the line. down the first one. Brogdon, he's checked in for Boston. And a change for the Bulls. Green's checked in. Jamar DeRozan hits them both. And that's the norm for him. He's pretty much automatic when he's at the line. They've been looking out of sync offensively. Yeah, that, their offense has ground to a standstill. And Tatum with the basket on the assist by Brown. Tatum's got 10 points now just in this quarter. They're still behind, but not because of his efforts. He's been unbelievable this quarter. Outside, Levine. Off target with his three. And yeah, that old adage about being too wide open, not a thing. He just missed it. And here's a look at some numbers for Jason Tatum. Last season, he played outstanding. He put up about 27 points per game last season. Eight rebounds and four assists. But to have a scorer like him consistently deliver you points makes such a big difference for a team. Because he gives you someone to build your offense around. You can count on his nightly production. And he makes the first. Good on both. See, now he's getting defenders back on their heels a little bit. Getting to the foul line here in the second half. DeRozan against Brown. Goes up from the top of the key. And again, Chicago. No good. Celtics trail by five. Smart kicks to Horford. The Celtics working the ball around now. Tatum down low. DeRozan defending. Now the pass to Dosun. And pushing it up. Here's Boston. Smart leading the charge. And that's where Brown is at his best. A muscular beast who loves finishing strong through the contact. Now here's Dosumu. He dishes a two to Rosen. With the crossover. And it goes down two points. And that's 38 points for DeMar DeRozan. Here's Tatum. It's a five-point game. It is good. He'll get a chance for one more at the line. Taking things into his own hands this quarter. Trying to keep his team afloat. For Boston, they have shot 60% from the line. 6 of 10. And up around 82% as a team a season ago. So they know how to make the most of those opportunities. Williams, he's checked in for Al Horford. 
Then for the Bulls, Alex Caruso. He's checked in for Levine. And it's Dragic in for Dosumu. Tatum no good on the free throw. A Smitty one way. Javante Green got our attention early on in his career. Was with a spectacular acrobatic. Those great dunks. Kevin, I agree with you. The first jams, windmills, putbacks. There isn't going to be a soft finish when he's close to the bucket. Now here's Tatum following the miss by DeRozan. Again, the miss by the Celtics. And so it's DeRozan. He'll bring it up for the bowl. 13 points was their biggest lead in the game. Rockets the pass to Vucevic. Over in the corner, Green. Vucevic setting the pick for Dragic. It doesn't go for him. Good D by Williams. Celtics trail by three. Brown right side. It's stolen by DeRozan. Over Williams. DeRozan's shot is off. And that is the exact type of opportunity this offense is looking to create. You know, if you get the ball to the right guy in the right spot, more often than not, you're coming away with points. Smart. Unable to get that one. And in Chicago the other way. Dragic with it. Passes it to Caruso. They kick it out to Green. Off target from three-point range. Well, the Celtics shooting at 46%, making some buckets. Caruso against Tatum. Shot clock at six. The Celtics need to get a shot off. Williams can't get it to go. Bulls leading by three. The 19-foot shot, and it's DeRozan missing. And it's the Celtics with the ball. Up top, Tatum. Defended by Caruso. And it's Jason Tatum with a three. Tatum's got the game tied up here for Boston. Diverse in terms of his offensive talents. Tatum is the type of player who you expect to score at least 20 every night. And they pick up two. That's the kind of aggressive and assertive play they need as we get closer and closer to crunch time. And they are really racking up the assists in this one. And their team chemistry is evident. These guys enjoy playing with one another. Now here's Williams. Five points in the game. No luck that time in the shot that would have put them on top. Green against Williams. Green dishes to Dragic. Pass to Caruso. Vucevic is screen on Brogdon. And here's Vucevic. Just five on the clock. Wide open. Couldn't capitalize. And here is Brogdon. There's 38 seconds left in the third. Outside. Smart. And here's Brown outside. Good, and Smart gets the assist. Smart's got his seventh assist here tonight. Yeah, that's back-to-back -back threes. The D just seems to be slacking off a little bit. Now, here's DeRozan. He has 38 in the game. Back to Dragic. That's to Vucevic. Kicks to DeRozan. Let's the free fly. He can't get that one to fall. What a performance for Jason Tatum. He has been the story so far for the Boston Celtics. And his big game just keeps getting bigger. That quarter sees him get over 30 points. We'll take a quick break and then back to the action here. And now let's go back to a play from earlier as we show you our State Farm assist of the game. It's just true artistry right there. I mean, great decision on where to go with the ball. And how about the perfect delivery? Execution. This is what you practice every day. These guys are professionals. Beautiful play.
And I know I speak for all of us when I say I can't wait to see what kind of finish awaits us here in the fourth quarter. Ogden on the wing. He's joined by Brown. Horford is out there with Williams. And it's White in at the point. That's the Boston Five. And they call the foul, so a chance at the line for one more coming up. That sends Dosumu to the free throw line. That one on Horford. Boston trailing. Now here's Brown. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. And Brown is a guy who is constantly seeking contact. Defenders have to be more cautious around him. Free throw good from Brown. That one falls, so he hits both of them. Here's Levine. So a screen on Brogdon. Levine's shot is off. And Zohorker will bring it up for the Celtics. Outside Williams. It's Brogdon on the wing. Horford the pass to Brogdon. Just four to shoot. Off the mark there with the three-point shot. Great perimeter D. Gave a good shooter absolutely no room to operate. There's the pass to Levine. To the middle. Got a piece of it. And stolen by White. Final quarter of play. About a minute and a half off the clock into it. Jones up top, height covering. Passes to Dosunga. Now Caruso. With three, Levine drills it from outside. And the Bulls lead by three. That gives him his second three of the half with three total for the game. Caruso against Brown. And Jones pulls it down. The Bulls have gone two or three from the field to get the fourth quarter start. Pass to Dosumu. Jones with the screen on White. Pops it up for Levine. And they've got to keep him off the glass. For a little guy, he can be a handful on the offensive boards if you're not aware of him. Just a little under two and a half minutes have passed now here in the fourth. White finds Brown. The Celtics working the ball around now. Pass to Horford. Takes the assist and lays it in. Pick out the pass nicely. Well-timed play there. And that's Horford at his finest. Smooth roll, aggressive finish. Bulls leading by three. Dosunmu, the pass to Williams. Around three minutes gone here in the fourth quarter. Levine for three. No good there. Now Boston takes it the other way. Guys are looking for a spark here. Yeah, a cold stretch offensively for sure. Chicago's gone one or two from three-point range here in the fourth. 
is Dosunmu. Outside, Levine. It's over Brogdon. Levine gets the bucket. And that's 21 points for Zach Levine. Woo! Zach barely gave the defense a chance there. He quickly gets the shot in the air. Brown outside. And Jones pulls it down. And you could tell he thought that triple was going to fall. And the pass to Dosunmu. And here's Jones. Three-pointer. Dosunmu's shot is off. Celtics trail by five. Williams with the ball. Jones covering. And White kicks to Williams. Jason Tatum, he's checked in for Al Horford. And the Bulls making a change here as well. DeMar DeRozan, he's checked in for Zach Levine. Chicago calls timeout. And let's head over to the sideline and catch up with David Aldridge. Hey, Kevin, during that last break, I heard Billy Donovan talking to his team. His key message was, don't get comfortable. Those guys are going to come at us with everything they've got. Let's bring the intensity and stay focused on every possession. Kevin, back to you. Thanks, David. So the pass to Dosunmu. Caruso with the ball. From outside the arc, hits the three-point bomb. And the Bulls lead by eight. And it just seems that every pass they make is leading to a score. Just great ball movement. And here's Tatum. He'll bring it up for the Celtics. Pass to Brogdon. It's tipped, and so Boston again turning it over. The Bulls leading by eight. And here is Dosumu. There's the dish to DeRozan, and they double up DeRozan. Shot from 12. It's Chicago with another bucket. I love the vision by DeMar DeRozan. He found the wide open teammate. Here's Brown. And at the top of the key, Williams. He kicks to White. The three from Tatum. Cranes the three pointer. Tatum's got 33 points. He has gotten into a terrific groove here, trying to wheel his team back into this. For Chicago, they've gone six of nine on their field goal attempt since the start of the fourth quarter. Williams sends a screen for DeRozan from six feet. And Tatum pulls it down. Tatum's got 11 rebounds in the game. Pass to White. The Tatum trying to shoot. No good from outside. The Bulls leading by seven. Jones, no one around him. No good with the triple. White looking around. Brown finds Brogdon. Outside Tatum. It's all in by the Bulls. 13 points was their biggest lead in the game. Williams passes to Dosunmu. Dishes a two to Rosen. Pass to Dosunmu. Williams a screen on White. Here's Dosunmu. And it's out of bounds. The Celtics will take it the other way. Off on the timing, or it may have been a miscommunication. Either way, turnover. The Celtics making a switch here. Smart's checked in. Chicago also making some changes. Vucevic comes in for Derek Jones. And it's Javante Green in for Williams. 
Brown inside. DeRozan defending. That is good. And the Bulls lead is cut down now to just five on the bucket from Brown. Now, here's DeRozan. Green with a screen for DeRozan. Here's the drive, and the shot is good. DeRozan's got 40 points. Ooh, heat check after heat check. He rises to the occasion, trying to wheel his team to victory. The Celtics have gotten only three of their nine field goal attempts to go down since the end of the third. Pretty cold down the stretch. White against Caruso. And Tatum with the basket on the assist by White. White's got his fourth assist in this one. Derek White is a combo guard who can get the ball to his teammates. Now here's Dosumu. Good work defensively by Smart. Tatum with it. Now guarded by Vucevic. Here's Brown. Great T that time from Green. The Bulls leading by five. DeRozan passes to Dosunga. Back to DeRozan. From the arc. It's good from long range. An area of his game that Caruso continues to work on. Nice to see him knocking him down. Now Tatum. Brown outside. And he can't answer back. The three-pointer offline. He's kind of lost his way this period. Having a hard time getting anything to go down. DeRozan for three. A new 14 for the Bull. Celtics trail by eight. Here's Tatum. Shoots over to Sulu. Tatum no good. Chicago has gone beyond the arc seven times here in the fourth and been successful three times. Now the pass to Vucevic. White against Caruso. Green left side. Six on the shot clock. Buries the long range jumper. Alex Caruso. He can make that pass in his sleep. And here's Tatum. He'll bring it up for the Boston Celtics. They trail by 11. Now a timeout Sorry. called by Boston. Some changes for Boston. El Horford checked in for Grant Williams. And Malcolm Brogdon subbed in for Derek White. Chicago also making some changes. Patrick Williams, he's checked in for Green. And Zach Levine subbed in for Alex Caruso. Tatum against Williams. Tatum gets to Smart. Back to Tatum. Good, and Smart gets the assist. Smart's got assist number eight now on the night. Yeah, he's in such a great rhythm right now. Makes sense to get him the ball any way you can. Let him decide whether to shoot it, whether to pass it. He's your catalyst right now. Both teams running perimeter-oriented plays that are working. How often do we see this these days? Clubs answering each other from range. And here is Tatum after the three-pointer from Zach Levine. Tatum drives in. Banked in off the glass. Tatum's got 40 points. Using the bounce, Tatum just explodes to the hoop so quick. DeRozan with it. 149 left here in the fourth quarter. Vucevic is screen on Brown. And slam dunk by Vucevic. Explosive leaping ability allows him to play the five, even though he's a little undersized.
There's a minute 40 left in the fourth quarter of this one. And the foul called on Ayo Dosunu. That'll be his second foul of the game. Williams against Tatum. Brogdon outside. And here's Brown outside. And the Celtics another three. And that's just tremendous confidence from Brown. Going up with the shot right away and giving the D no time to react. Now here's Levine. He dishes a two to Rosen. Over Hofford. And good as it just snugs right down through the net. And watching that defensive effort right there, you wonder how much they want this game. They are getting bare tonight with plays like that one, allowing too much space for a good shooter. A mix of agility and strength makes Tatum lethal inside. He can easily work around the defense. And here is Dosumu. Kicks it to Levine. Outside DeRozan. Puts one up from 19. Not going to go that time. Now Boston takes it the other way. Over in the corner, Brown. It's in! Oh, and that cuts the lead to just five. And with Brown, it doesn't matter what point in the game it's at. He's ready to shoot whenever and wherever he has the ball in a good spot. And so they choose to intentionally foul. Good on the first, and that increases their lead to six. good in both at the line and it's a seven point game productive trip to the line extended their lead just too big a deficit to come back from time out, time at this point point. and you know disappointment starts to set in a little bit you fought all night just wasn't meant to be time called here the Celtics decide to talk it over they're behind by seven 29 seconds left to play in the final quarter Nine seconds left in the fourth quarter. The three from Tatum. Good! And now they trail by just four. And let's give some credit to Tatum. Doesn't crack when the pressure's on. He just seems to embrace the moment. You have to foul, but I'm sure they would have liked to foul someone different. the first and that puts them up by five despite facing criticism along the way Zach Levine's blocked out all the haters now he's one of the most prolific scorers in this league and so both free throws are good and it's a six point ball game and here's Tatum he'll bring it up for the Boston Celtics outside to Brogdon all three off the mark and now we've got the intentional foul.
He hits the first one, and that makes it a seven-point lead. So he goes two for two at the line, and it's an eight-point game. Brown outside. Three-pointers off the mark. And so it's Chicago winning this one. And in the win, a comfortable win in what was, I think, gee, a pretty hostile environment. It, it really was. You, you know, it's never going to be easy on the road, but they didn't have too many problems with that tonight. And now we'll go to David Aldridge, who's standing by with our player of the game. Take it away, David. Kevin, thank you. Damar, this team is playing well together. How are you encouraging and fostering that sense of all of you being together and playing well? Um, we're just making everybody comfortable, making each and everybody on the team comfortable. David, thank you as always. That concludes the first game of the NBA season. For Greg Anthony, Steve Smith, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.